Hello, this is the great and powerful Oz. I'm joking, it's just Lena doing a voiceover. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to chat being chubby in autumn. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my being chubby in summer video, I have a lot of thoughts on the topic of putting fabric on your body and walking outdoors, which is essentially, I guess, what we call fashion. And I also really love building hypothetical capsule wardrobes. Now I like to experiment with capsule wardrobes of like 30 to 35 items, not because I'm particularly a minimalist. I do like to shop secondhand and keep my wardrobe only stuff that I'm really bloody in love with, but I'm in love with a lot of clothes, okay? So I don't always work from a capsule wardrobe, but I like putting them together. And if there's anything that I really miss and pull out, I just let myself. So I thought I'd take you through some steps of how I am building a bit of a capsule wardrobe for myself this autumn now the big emphasis always has to be for me on second hand i'm really big advocate for second hand stuff on my channel i have a whole series on my channel talking about different ways to reinvent your wardrobe with unusual second hand finds that not everybody is like grappling for on depop and all want at the same time and also small indie brands so they're the two things i'm going to be featuring in this video and i also wanted to talk specifically about four fabrics that as a chubby person i've always felt like i am not invited to wear and how I'm now bloody wearing them. Now, apart from being bloody British and living 11 months of the year in autumn, I always find autumn a lot kind of funner to style for. Summer, I feel like you just want the least amount of fabric on your body possible. And in extreme winter, you have five layers on that in no way match over any outfit you may have happily styled in the morning. But autumn, autumn is our opportunity. First, we're gonna talk about leather. A lot of leather items can be cut in a really extremely uncomfortable way or fashion, if you will, uh, for chubby bodies. But I found that grabbing a skirt that is slightly A-line, it doesn't have to be like a big flare, but slightly A-line gives enough room for my belly to exist live its best life order a pumpkin spice latte if it feels like it no judgment and if you really want that like leather skirt look but you've always felt like you couldn't wear it try searching for a-line skirts or you can even search for leather circle skirts they're really cool something that i wasn't expecting to find was this leather dress i never felt invited to wear a leather dress they usually come in like an awful button-up format that is just not cut to fit around my body and even if it does it makes me look like a bin line burrito but this kind of like rouged sheared fabric and the sheer volume of the skirt makes this kind of maxi dress really perfect and also bonus points really waterproof so try searching leather maxi dress in your size and seeing what comes up obviously it's mainly all faux leather let's not look i'm cool but i don't even want a small bunny rabbit to die for me to be honest anyway leather tops you've seen this leather top before i kind of love it it's very katniss it's wipe clean a hey, steady i'd look for something that has a little bit of a stretchy panel in it as well because they're really hard to kind of eye if you're buying them online to see if they fit and also if you're feeling a bit overthinky i wouldn't call it paranoid but just overthinky about your chest uh search for a high neck leather top as well there's quite a few of them out there they're really nice they're really nice to pair with kind of casual fabrics or tartan is very fun as well and you can also try uh, a leather trim on a dress sometimes i've seen dresses with little trims on them or you could also have leather accessories like hair bands and belts and that kind of thing if you're not ready to go full oops i did it again when i think of sequins my panic brain goes too clingy too attention grabbing probably cut into a bodycon fabric i'm gonna beat myself up and tell myself that i look like a glitter banana skin condom but again you can look for skirts like this that are cut in a more kind of circle skirt kind of way i love this skirt you've seen it before you can also obviously opt for the noble tank top and recently i discovered this kind of out out dress like if you want to go out out might i suggest something like this small sequins can look quite oh, i don't know how to put it highlighting they're very small i don't like them but these kind of really big discs one give it an amazing kind of 70s feel and kind of change the dimensions of what you're looking at i don't really know how to explain it but i feel like there's some kind of science here they're not usually what you'd associate with sequins but they are sequins and also the way these ones are sewn mean that they kind of hang off your body they don't cling to it and trace your shape in the same way it's cool if you do want them to trace your shape i mean go off but i just really like the way this kind of feels like there's a cloud of sequins following me rather than like a fleet of leaves Beaches feeding off my skin. I don't know where I'm going with this. Moving on, denim. I used to think of denim as really restrictive, 
sweaty, arm-pinching kind of territory. But I've since discovered loads of second-hand fabrics that look like denim, but are actually made of cotton. Oh my god. Absolute game changer. Perfect kind of when you're trying to work out whether it still could possibly be in any way summer, but then winter looks like it's on the way because throwing this on with like a really warm pair of trousers or throwing a jumper over these wide leg trousers looks really cool as well. You can pretend like you planned it. These denim look trousers are from Kemi Telford who are a really ethical, sustainable brand based in London, really love them. And I also realized that alternatives to denim jackets exist. Oh yeah. So the normal denim jacket looks like this. I've ranted before about how much I hate these, absolute hellscape. But have you ever searched denim biker jacket? Well, well, well. This one is really extra, obviously, because it's made out of loads of different old pairs of jeans, which I really love. I, again, found it secondhand. But you can just get jackets like this that are just very straightforward. But bomber jackets, you've got more rooms for your arm to move. There's more margin for error if you gain or lose a little bit of weight. And it's honestly making me revise my evangelical opinions on how much I hated denim jackets before. And then finally, silk. Silk always felt too clingy for me or if I was going to buy something non-clingy it was probably going to make me look like the poshest tent at centre parks if you catch my drift but these dresses that obviously you've seen in like all my videos they're from a sustainable brand called Gung Ho that one of my dear friends runs Sophie she was really kind to gift me something from their new collection which is a little bit longer than the other dresses that I own and you'll see the difference but they have these beautiful pleats in them that are just so well placed and it's not all one piece of fabric either you can see that there are seams in it which means that it flows in this really beautiful way. Silk-like fabrics like this can be really hard to produce ethically. It's something I really love about Sophie is that she has tracked down exactly the most ethical possible way of making silk-like fabric. So these dresses that I had are made from silk tensil, which is made out of regenerated, sustainably grown wood cellulose. I know, science. But this new dress from this new collection that Sophie sent to me to show you guys, thank you so much uh, to her, uh, is a little bit longer than the original design and has this amazing belt slash hair accessory slash neck scarf, bag decoration, dancing implement that comes with it. And it's made from Regenesis light satin, which is made from plastic bottles. So upcycling plastic that's already out there. And they calculate that per dress, you're saving 14.1 kilometers of driving emissions. 38.7 glasses of drinking water and 7.4 plastic bottles that could have gone into landfill but are instead on your body looking incredibly cool. One of the ideas behind Gung Ho is that clothes get people talking. You're always asking like where somebody's dress is from or like does it have pockets? So they're designed to be ways into talking about the climate crisis with people. Uh, each collection has a story. So this collection is a collaboration with the Worldwide Tribe, highlighting the fact that one in 10 people will be displaced by 2050. It comes with a little zine telling you all about the cause and also what I love is there are action points of things you can actually do. So if you're looking to invest in a really ethical sustainable brand and you've always had a bit of the green eye for the dresses that I wear in like literally every video I just wanted to highlight those especially because they've just enabled me to wear silky stuff and feel a bit more fancy feel a bit more put together in the chubby body that I live in. Are you building a capsule wardrobe this autumn? And if so, what are you popping in it? I'm excited to mix all of these pieces with stuff that I already have to bring them into autumnal life. Autumnal life. Slather myself in leaves, curl up with a good book and get into the latte fomart. Tiny pumpkins, fluffy comfy socks. Thank you so much for watching this video, believe it or not was supported by real people who actually think that I have my head screwed on straight. They're called The Gumption Club. If you want to be one of the people that support this channel, I'll leave links below. If you like this video, I want to make a bet and think that you will like this one and this one and this one too. Click on it, see if I'm right. If you liked being here, please subscribe and come back. It's different every time, I'll be honest, but we always have fun here. Thank you so much for watching. Frog Snug out.